So hello everyone, it's Matthew Reed, uh, Chief Analyst with uh, Omdia, covering service provider markets. And I'm delighted to be joined uh, this afternoon with by uh, Motele Pula Ramosa, who is uh, Open Service Executive in charge of product development um, and innovation. Motele Pula, um, I understand you're working with Huawei on um, FTTR, um, Fibre to the Room. Can you tell us a bit about that uh, service? Yes, no, thanks for the opportunity, Matthew. So we, as OpenSelf, the leading fiber provider in South Africa, have, have started a proof of concept with, with Huawei, one of our leading uh, <clears throat> networks and solutions providers in, in the whole wide world. So let's start with uh, FTTH. Né? I think everybody's aware of FTTH, uh, Fiber to the Home, where optical fiber is used to come into the homes, and uh, I think particularly in South Africa. Over the past two years with, with the pandemic, a lot of people have been working from home, mm -hmm. which has had made it quite significant that, uh, that everybody has connection into the home. Mm -hmm. So traditionally, optical fiber comes into the home and then uh, all the rooms within the home connect via, via Wi-Fi. Né? From an experience point of view, we, we looked at it as, as OpenSafe and realized that there is something we need to do, especially in South Africa where the homes are bigger. So what we then went on to is, is partner with Huawei to do a FTTR, which is fiber to the room. Essentially, from the home gateway, we fiber up the home where in each room or anywhere where it's required within the home, there's an actual gateway that's connected via fiber. Right. Now, that significantly has enhanced the, the experience. Mm -hmm. So regardless where you are within the home, mm -hmm. you get the best available fiber experience. Yeah. Which, <laughs> Fantastic. And how does this really differ from, from Wi-Fi? When many, many uh, services might be doing something similar with Wi-Fi. It's, it's, it's quite, I think this is the next step in the evolution. Mm -hmm. So everybody right now within the homes, so they'll be there from the router. You typically get a Wi-Fi mesh where a number of beacons are placed strategically within the home. Eh? But what we have discovered is because of wireless signals, because of thick walls between, between the rooms, mm -hmm we find the signal gets degraded either by other transmission uh, equipment within the home or within the walls. So typically, the experience you get from the router is, is typically the best of what you get expecting as a customer. But the further away you go, mm -hmm. the more beacons they are connected by uh, wirelessly, mm -hmm. you typically find that the experience is not as, as great, yeah, which, which has become quite a problem as more people work from home these days, yeah. Whereas, Sorry. Any, any other advantages from FTTR that you'd like to highlight? Yes, there's, there's, okay, first of all, there's the experience in that you get, you get significant coverage across the entire home. The second major thing is as the user, as the customer, you get to control Wi-Fi usage. You actually get, can test each of the beacons within your house. You can test the quality, you can test the speed that you're getting. But more importantly, if you're a parent like me, it has a parental control service where you don't want your daughter to be too much on TikTok or anything else, yeah. So you actually get the ability and the control to see who uses your network, what they use it on. You can even create a separate Wi-Fi for your guests if, if you're worried about security, yeah. And then from, from an operator point of view, it's, it's, it's all about uh, assurance with, with the customer's approval the customer can actually allow us to check if there's any degradation of the, of the service. Yeah, so we can actually do remote, remote checks to ensure that the experience is, is what's expected. And yeah. And is there anything you can tell us about the results so far from, from the, uh, the, the pilot service that you're, you're offering? Any feedback from customers? Yeah, we have, we have, like I said, we have started a proof of concept with quite a number of customers. The response has been phenomenal, yeah. First of all, the experience or the speed that people are getting, regardless how big the house are. And some, I won't mention names, but some people with some pretty big houses actually have, have put this in their homes. And they get speeds of up to a gig everywhere within the homes or even outside, yeah. So one, it's, it's been phenomenal, the feedback that we're getting. And from, from an open safe point of view, now we're looking at any key learnings from it and then how we then... Um, productize this and, and take it to the market, yeah. So it's, it's been quite positive. And when, when do you think you will uh, launch commercially? It's, it's, this, is, this is early phases, but given the positive feedback, I think we're looking at, uh, I'll just say sometime soon, yeah. Okay. Which, yeah. It's, yeah. 
Okay, Mo, thank, thanks so much. It sounds really interesting, and I wish you all the best with uh, the, the further development of the service. Okay.